Hey guys, it's Serge from Swiss Fan. So today we're gonna do a review. It's been a while since I did a video because there hasn't been a lot of updates recently and some of them were pretty minor. Uh, but I thought this, um, this time we have something that's pretty cool uh, in the updates. So I wanted to do a quick review about it. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll go into the details. Uh, we'll start with older releases and then uh, go all the way to 2021.40.6 which is the latest update I got. All right, let's get into it. Okay, it's really raining outside, so I hope you'll hear me okay. Um, okay, let's start. So there was the uh, 2021.32.10 update that had uh, immersive, sound, immersive sound improvements. So basically what it does is that it makes you, uh, it gives you like a bigger, a wider uh, sound field for your music. And it's actually quite nice. Um, uh, on 21, 20, 36, uh, the windshield wiper sequence automatically does us uh, to better clear salt and grime. Uh, the mobile app improvements, so charge current, scheduled departure and scheduled charging, um, you can adjust uh, at your cur current car's location. Um, and now the big one is the 2021.40.6 uh, that has a lot of stuff. So if we come from the bottom, so new language support for British English. Uh, Tesla tutorial videos, so uh, here I checked them out before, there's not much, but we'll go into them afterwards. Um, and um, it's just a different way to uh, show them. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing they're, they're preparing it for a lot more, uh, because they've changed the layout as you'll see. Uh, traffic aware cruise control chimes, so basically um, you, can, you will now receive an audio alert with traffic control. Traffic aware cruise control is enabled. Uh, so um, that's just a little indication. One of the big changes is the support for Tidal. So I'm not a subscriber of Tidal, but if you don't know what Tidal is, it's a music streaming service such as Spotify or um, uh, Apple Music or Google Music. But uh, Tidal specializes in high quality uh, streaming. So um, that's if you want something really nice in terms of sound in your car. Uh, probably with the immersive sound improvements, you'll see um, re some really nice um, experiences. So um, on the cold weather improvements here, um, you can also now enable front defrost and maintain your climate settings while clearing ice and snow. So you can simply do that. Uh, I'll show you how also. And also, additionally, when using climate controls on Tesla app, automatic big body, um, battery preconditioning has been optimized to consume less energy. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> and finally we get waypoints so uh, I'll show you that but basically you can now have waypoints in your navigation and that's something that people have been requesting for a long time Elon Musk has been sort of uh, you know messing with people saying it's coming and then not and then and it, at some point he said fine we'll do it <laughs> and it's finally here and we can finally get waypoints in our navigation so I'll also show you that Okay, so um, let's start very quickly with the um, tutorials. So I'll go in here in entertainment, test of tutorials. And now you see it's, it used to be like um, a grid with all the different videos, but now it's a list. And I'm assuming that they did that because uh, they probably want to have a lot more of these um your featured so your yeah so this is we just starts playing right away so i'm just gonna kind of cut it um so that was one thing the other thing so we talked about the um the defrost so basically what this means is that you can now okay we talked about the defrost so what does it mean is you can now put this on on here meaning it stays on and you can then activate these and they will stay on uh to um to control uh basically uh the front window heating and the back window heating so that's helpful when you're uh, defrosting the car okay um and last but not least the waypoints so uh what i'm going to do here i'm going to do a, a hypothetical scenario let's say i want to drive to burn and if you look at the, the, the routes here, it'll take the fastest route. But um, what I might want to do is go through Neuchâtel or Fribourg. 
And uh, basically what I can do here is I can simply, uh, you see the little plus button up here? I can simply tap that and then I can add Fribourg as a intermediate destination. And now it's calculated the route through Fribourg all the way to Bern. And you can see here, it's giving me an estimation of um, the percentage of battery that I'll have in Fribourg. But if I, and these are all the instructions to go to Fribourg, but if I scroll, scroll down, I can also get the estimation for uh, Bern and with the estimated time. Of course, that's assuming I'm not stopping in Fribourg uh, and the total trip. So as you can see, it's, it's very uh, straightforward, very easy to um, set up. Now, the only thing I noticed is uh, once you set up a route, it's not possible to change it. Uh, the only way to change it is to cancel the whole thing. And uh, I, I mean, I haven't tried to just add a point like this. Oh yes, I forgot about that. So here, if I'm on the, you saw I just pressed on the, I pressed and hold, and I could just do add, and that's going to add a waypoint uh, to my route. And you can see here that it's basically uh, now highlighting the destination to the first point. Um, I haven't found a way to remove a point. Uh, so if I wanted to get rid of this one, um, try swipe. maybe I can try to click on it here. Try swipe. No, that doesn't work. Yeah, I'll try to swipe it. No. I don't think we can take it off. I think the only way is to cancel the whole thing and, um, and then redo the, the route. But anyway, so the way that it works, of course, is that once I start driving, once I get to the first destination, it will then uh, calculate uh, the route to the next one. I mean, and display it. Uh, so it works pretty well. Okay, that's it for this uh, quick review of the latest updates. A lot of updates recently haven't had a lot of features in them, but um, I thought that, you know, now there were enough uh, to cover quickly in this uh, quick review. Uh, if you want a driving test of this, uh, let me know. But even for the waypoints, there's not much to show. It's just navigation that will adjust. And uh, we're still waiting on any kind of indication as to what's going on with uh, full self-driving and stuff like that. As I predicted, we probably won't see it in 2021 in Switzerland. And uh, we'll see about 2022, I, I really don't know. Uh, but I uh, still love the car and I still recommend it. Uh, also, unfortunately, Tesla has stopped the referral program. So uh, there's no more uh, advantages that you or I could get uh, from using referral. So I won't push them in this video. But uh, if you did enjoy this video, you can still help me by liking it and subscribing and uh, hitting the notification bell uh, if you want to get notified when I release my next video. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great uh, time uh, with the holidays. And if I don't talk to you before, uh, happy holidays. All right, bye bye. You are like done. And also, uh, so, uh, also, um, I just turned uh, 10 uh, one month ago. So drop a happy birthday to me. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. All right, bye bye.